and happy Vlogmas Day 13. My name is Kim. I am the person behind this crazy Chevy Chase style Vlogmas 2022 knitting and crochet channel. And I am also known as Yarning for a Smile. Today, it is already three o'clock and we're just not opening advent calendars, but we're gonna fly through this like the wind because I've got to cook dinner. But we're gonna start off with something a little bit special because today I went out in the very peopley world of Hobby Lobby where their Christmas is 70% off, which is pretty amazing, but it was a lot of people. And on the shelf was three of these, three. I had not seen these before. I didn't even know this was a thing, but apparently this is a thing. So I bought one because again, it was 70% off. So it makes the total 45 right now. I tried to pull it up online earlier and I don't know if it's letting you buy it offline. You may have to go in store to get it. But I thought we would open this up since now there's actually 12 days of Christmas and this is the 12 days of Stitchmas. So it works. We'll just add it in with our normal advent calendar fun. Before we open it up though, on the back, and it comes in this really pretty box. However, I did pick up the one that has this boo-boo on the front, which is like an imperfect box. It is what it is. But on the back it says, welcome to the ultimate countdown to Christmas, designed for yarn lovers like you. Immerse yourself in the cozy joy of all things yarn as you unwrap a collection of exclusive goodies throughout the holiday season. You'll experience 12 days of limited edition gifts to make your heart soar, including unique projects to settle in on chilly evenings, specially designed tools and notions, and yarn-centric accessories to inspire your creativity. Share your unboxing and finished products with us at Hobby Lobby Stitch Mess Box. Included is 47 pieces total, two craft kits, two gifts, 17 notion, three storage items, 15 stationary items, two decorations, and six wrapping supplies. If you're buying this Advent craft vent for the yarn, it's probably not going to be a great deal for you because there's only two kits. So that means there's only yarn to make those two kits. The other stuff is made up of notions. And if you're someone who doesn't use like a planner or like paper and pen stationery, again, this is probably not going to be the calendar for you because it has 15 stationery in it. And it has six wrapping supplies. And I'm not going to be using the wrapping supplies for wrapping supplies, but they will probably be used in my um, planner because I'm a planner aholic. Go figure. So let's get into day one of the 12 days of Stitchmas and see what this thing has. I know there are other YouTube channels who have already opened theirs completely and showed theirs off, but there's no fun in that. And I didn't even really look at what was in there. I just know for the $45 mark and kind of getting an idea of what was in here from what was being said. And reading the description, I think it's something that I consider $45 to be pretty good deal. Plus it's fun. And who doesn't love fun? I do love the box. And I do wish I had got a box that didn't have like a mark on it. It's not a cut. It's just where something has kind of indented it. But it is what it is. So it has the snowflakes all over it and some foil. I love the size of the box. It has the days on it and it has a knitted hat. And there's a wreath and some mittens and some a snowflake that actually has knit stitches in it. And there's the other side. Here's the back of it. Okay. So let's begin. says your stitchments box is here so right on the top we have a little informational sheet 
And this is super adorable because the back of it obviously tells you about the box. And it says, open one gift a day. There are 12 days of gifts in total for you to open throughout the Christmas season. Each package is labeled with a number. And that's how you know what order to open them in. It says, we are honored to share this carefully curated collection of gifts for you. All these items were designed and produced exclusively for our 2022 limited edition 12 days of stitch modes box which means you will not find them anywhere else in the store here are some tips for getting the most out of your box number one prepare to spend some quality time with day one there's definitely some assembly required i'm guessing that's one of the kits day three which is the second tip uh, day three's gift will keep on giving if you pair it with the items from day five and day eight. Tip three, the goodies from day seven and day 11 are match made in mistletoe heaven. You may want to use them together. And then a small print, it says, Marius of Christmas to you. We wish you all the joy, all the wonder, and all the yarn. Sincerely, your friends at Hobby Lobby. Add your voice to Hobby Lobby yarn in universe by sharing your 12 days of stitchments experience on social media with hashtag hobby lobby stitchmas box and it has a cute little snowman made of yarn love that but on the back of this is this cute little thing that says i'm not hoarding yarn i'm storing for winter or storing it for winter and that would be something cute to even frame or to use this as a cross stitch guide and cross stitch this but that's pretty adorable. So the packages come individu individually wrapped. It's not like a box where you pull out drawers. There's actually packages. So this is day one. Day five. Day two. Day 12. That's kind of heavy. Day three. Day 10, day 4, day 6, day 8, day 9, day 11, day 7, and there's actually writing in the bottom of the box. So I want to show you that. The bottom of the box says, ideas for your empty box. Number one, store spare yarn. Number two, re-gift it to a cat. And number three, wear it as a hat. That's pretty cute that they did that. We're going to go with option one or two. It's probably going to wind up with the cats. Or okay, so I've put everything back in the box except for day one. Now, before we open this, I will say that I have seen some of the reviews that people left online on Hobby Lobby's website regarding this. There were two reviews that said there were not adequate amount of yarn for the projects. So I'm curious to see if that's actually true or if the users did not properly gauge swatch or control their attention and they ran out of yarn because they didn't get gauge. Because with a, a, a advent or a kit like this, gauge is so important or you are gonna run out of yarn. If your stitches are too big and you're using more yarn than you're supposed to, then obviously you're not gonna have enough that was sent with a kit. And if your stitches are too small, and you're using a lot less, then you're just going to have all this extra yarn, which in that case, you can use it to another gift or another project. But when you run out of yarn, sometimes if it's like this and it's exclusive, you can't get any more of that yarn, especially if it's a hand dye jar. And you're never going to get that exact same color and shade. And then you're going to have color variation in your project and it doesn't look very pretty. So if you have questions about how to get proper gauge, just let me know down below. And there are some really good articles that I can link for you. But, so, day, let's look at day one. I do love that they individually wrap these because I think it kind of adds to the gift part of Advent and funness on this. But y'all, it, so, it was so busy out. I'm surprised my store even had the three of these that they've had that I saw. 
And they were not even in the yarn section. They were all the way in the Christmas section. So that was interesting. Ooh, I'm trying not to make a lot of wrinkles. But let's do a little peek inside the bag. Put it up here. This is my makeshift table. This is actually all my advent calendars stacked on each other. <laughs> so that's fun. Basically, it's just waiting to fall over. Okay. So the first thing is nativity sets. Skill level easy. Joy to the world. Let me take it out of this. So... Joy to the World includes yarn for Mary, Joseph, Jesus, and the angel. So with the yarn provided, you should be able to make all four of those. And it's actually really, really cute. So this thing is your pamphlet. There are patterns for the other characters. You just don't get the yarn. Oh, wow. So this is the full set here. Now, I have a, a very similar nativity scene. There's actually a book that came out years ago. And it's a whole nativity set just like this. I'll have to link it below so you can compare. But this says, use your own yarn stash to complete the scene by adding the wise men, shepherd, sheep, tree, and star. But the sheep are pretty adorable. And it says, oh, come let us adore him. Now, I understand this Advent calendar is not going to be for everyone because it has a religious theme. But for those of us who do have, you know, a tie to that religion, this is a really cute set to begin with. I guess that's where a lot of people are kind of getting upset because it only has the yarn to make the few characters, but it's an advent set. So I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not really sure what those two comments were referring to. I don't expect it to have yarn for the whole nativity scene. Then you wouldn't have hardly anything else in the box. But depending on what kind of yarn they use, like, you know, if you want the whole set to match, you're going to have to find something with a similar sheen to it and weight or your characters are going to be off in sizes because you're going to have to keep that same gauge. So there's the angel. Jesus in the manger. Joseph. Mary. Love the palm tree and its little detail on top. The sheep are just so cute and funny. The shepherd. The star. And the wise men. So let's see what else we have. So this is the yarn. Well, it's different yardage per color because it only gives you enough to make four main pieces. This is 100% acrylic, and this is a four weight. This yarn is very lightweight. I'd have to go into the store and take this to try to find a similar base because it doesn't have a yarn name on it. Make the whole set co cohesive. So that, that could be, you know, a problem. I don't know. We'll have to see, but next time I go that way to town, I'll take one of these in there and I'll try to find a good yarn to use for your other characters. It's really soft. I mean, that is plenty yarn for those. The finished measurement should be four and three fourths inches tall. Your gauge should be 10 rows and 10 inches in a two inch square. Gauge is so important. And it says you need an F5 hook, 3.75 millimeter, not included. I can almost guarantee you the people who left this bad reviews did not get gauge and didn't, or did not even check their gauge and probably did not use the appropriate size hook. Or a common thing I see is people say, well, I use that F hook, 
and I still ran out of yarn. We all knit and crochet differently. So if the pattern designer used the F hook and she got that gauge, when you do your sample swatch, you may not get that gauge. You may have to go down two hook sizes to get the same stitch size that she got. That's just because we all have a different tension and the way we hold our yarn and the tightness we pull at the, the yarn. But I'm really impressed with this for day one. But that's not even all because they also give you the stable. It's called the creche, C-R-E, C-H-E, to go with it. And that's, that's super cute. I don't buy a lot, a lot of kits, but I do, you know, I've done some kits in the past. So considering I spent $45 on this box with shipping, if I'd have bought a kit just to make this, there is just enough yarn to make four characters. And when you think about those little crochet kits that you get that have the book and enough yarn to make one or two characters, those are really anywhere from $10 to $20 a piece. And you only can make two characters. So this you make four characters and you spent $45 in my eyes, if, especially if I had to pay shipping, this would already pay for itself. Like that would be this first day one. And we still have 11 more days to go. So for $45, I think it's a pretty good deal. And I'm super excited about this little kit. Like pretty excited. Like it's, it's pretty adorable. So yeah, let me know what you think down below if, if you think it's adorable or worth it. And we'll keep an eye on it as we go through. Oh, there's something on the bottom. There's wire to make the angels halo, which is super cute too that they put that in there. I'm very impressed with how it's packaged up. Like I think that right there kind of seals the deal for me, especially at 70% off. You know, I still don't know if I would consider it a full $150 purchase, but for 70% off, 45 bucks, I'm thinking if I had watched my own video that I would be going to Hobby Lobby and buying me one. And no, I'm not a free lady with Hobby Lobby in any way. So moving on to the rest of our advents, we've really got to get this cracking because I got to get dinner. And this probably will not go up today. This will probably go up on Wednesday. And I'm sorry if you can hear my husband in the background. He's playing Fortnite with my oldest. <laughs> I'm taking it someone took them out. <laughs> Day 13 has a golden glittery reindeer. And this is a pretty blue with darker blue speckles. And there's a little bit of white in there. That is very pretty. Day 13 of Emma's yarn. This is a pretty light green wrapper. I don't know how well my earbuds are picking up the crinkle because my microphone is on the fritz. It needs a firmware update that can only be done on a PC and I'm a Mac user. So I'm trying to figure that out. This is really, really, really pretty. Oh, jeez. So that's actually a little bit of a creamy yellow base with those eggshell colors. Super pretty. We have more yarn, and it looks like it's a mohair yarn. Very, very pretty mohair yarn. So I'm guessing this is antler. Yes. And this is the Malintosh impression base, 70% mohair, 30% silk, and you can feel that silk. And that's also what that sheen is. You see that shine? That is silk. And then this green is really pretty in this mohair silk base. 
And this is the color Mallow again. But I love how it has the darker part and that's that silk is what holds the lighter green. And that's the one fun thing I love about natural fibers is the way that they attach themselves to the dye and the yarn. And that's what gives you that color variation because of the silk and the mohair absorbs the dye differently. And it makes for gorgeous Aww. yarn. We have the Jelly and Jams, day 13, right here in the middle. And that just ripped all the way off. And day 13 is pineapple and something else. Why is it a Y U? I can't tell if it's a R J U or the font on this is horrible. I should have done a lot better with a font choice. Very hard to see. David's T. I mean, every time you open it, you get a whiff of something magical. Day 13 is Forever Nuts. So this is actually my husband's favorite David T. T. And I buy it by the tin for him. But he loves Forever Nuts. And it is apples, almonds, cinnamon, bear root, and artificial sweet roasted almond flavoring. But it does contain almonds. But he loves it. It's like his absolute favorite hot tea from David Steve. So I always have to make sure that he has this whole little tin full of it. The Keurig, 24 cups of cheer for the coffee wars. I mean, it's kind of seasonal. It is the original donut shop in the white chocolate plus vanilla. Let's see what great value has for us today. Same place. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to go with this one. So, great value is pulling out this man in my eyes, bringing in marshmallow mocha ground coffee. Okay, sign me up any day. Although white chocolate and vanilla is not bad either, but I'm giving it to the marshmallow and mocha because I love marshmallow <laughs> and chocolate and coffee. That's a winning combination. Check back tomorrow so we can see what the calendars have in store and we can see more. I went to the Hobby Lobby Stitchmas. And if you are heading out this evening because of this video or in the morning to buy one, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious how much of an enabler I am to you. Catch you later, friends. <laughs>